Coming up, Jacobine sits in a control console, the boom arm on the mining rig is ready, and the refinery gets a bit of an upgrade. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Looks like uh, Mr. Jacobine has got himself a lovely command and control console. Yep, uh, so this good. is going to be the drill command console. Um, oh, that's so fancy. Much easier to control it from here. What would be cool is if, if we were to build that up above the drill. Um, or just yeah. stick a camera on one of the scaffoldings so you can look at the drill. That's, uh, that's the plan. Uh, or possibly stick a camera on the uh, drill bit so that you can see uh, it going down. I think we should stick cameras everywhere. Uh, I have to let Sergei monitor. Yes, it's... have a security terminal. Oh, it's a George Orwell book. <laughs> it's now. Welcome to the mystery of peace. But you know what, George Orwell book. I really liked George Orwell books. Me too. Um, uh, I would say 1984 is one of my. It's definitely in my top ten. One of my favourite books. See, I actually preferred Animal Farm over 1984. Not um, such a big fan of Animal Farm. Um, H.G. Wells and George Orwell are probably my two favourite authors. Wait, what about J.R. Tolkien? Mm, I can take him or leave him. I, I, I'm Charles Dickens? I can take him or leave him. Oh, wow. No, I, I Great Expectations is like one of the best uh, books I've ever read, I think. And Oliver Twist. Oh, I forgot to mention Roald Dahl, obviously. Roald Dahl, uh, who can't? I awesome. Mean, I, I have I, I have his collection, so... We're all Roald Dahl big kids at heart. Very much so, especially, I mean, which one is your favourite? Uh, George's, Mar George's Marvelous Medicine, even though... It's oh, that was so... Communist. And that was such a short one too, George's Marvelous Medicine. That was very good though. I do identify more with BFG because, as many people know, I'm quite a tall chap. See, I I like the BFG, but I I also I think I've got a soft spot for Matilda. I really like Matilda and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, Danny Champion of the World. That was that another. one. I think I didn't get on board with Danny Champion of the World. I yeah. I'll be honest. I kind of know why people do. Well, the first time I read it, I didn't like it as much as when I read it the second time. So I think that one actually, unlike some of the others that you know, it, it takes you can get get on board straight away. I think that one takes a couple of reads to to really get on board with it. I'll tell you a book I have read, but it took me a long time to get into it. Gold of Travels. Ah, yeah. Looks like this is a book-filled episode. Jacobine, any Indeed. books on your...? Um, alas, I have read very few books, not my uh, preferred type of media. Uh, though I, I do like uh, both Neuromancer and Snow Crash, which are both side. Neuromancer and Snow Crash. I've never heard of them. Who, who I, wrote them? I have. I can't remember who wrote Snow Crash or Neuromancer. I've but heard of Neuromancer. Neuromancer is one of the most prominent um, cyberpunk. I think I I have heard of Neuromancer. I, I believe. Give me a second, I'll look up. Because I can. All right, uh, steel plates, construction <laughs> components, small can. steel like tubes, it. motors, and metal grids. Let's do that. Uh, by the way, I've moved iron second and put uranium last on on the uh, sandler's uh, order. I have uh, topped out the. I've pretty much topped. I mean, the refinery, not reassembly. Really yeah, in in the. You know what I meant. Yes, I did. I definitely did. Right. So, uh, Neuromancer is by uh, William Gibson, and Snow Crash is Neil Stevenson. Apparently. That's what my preliminary findings have found. Hmm. Not. I'm. I, I'm. I'm sure I'm familiar with the book name, but I'm not familiar with the author. I don't think. Right, more iron on the way. 
That's good. Uh, construction components, small steel tubes, and motors required for this. That I could certainly do. You know, I did A level English literature, and we had to do one piece of coursework where basically we had to define the rules and everything. And I basically, for no apparent reason, decided to compare God's Travels with War of the Worlds. That to me doesn't make all all too much sense, I'll be honest. Me neither, now I think about it. Alrighty, let's get this yield module underway. Alright, yield module number one for the refinery is about to be completed. Will that, we increase every, will that increase everything, not just uranium, or is it that just increases uranium everything? Module? That will increase so what's everything. It? So how does how does it increase it? In I, mean, I, I don't mean the science behind it. I mean the. Um, okay, I, I'm glad I'm um, glad you defined that because I, I was a little <laughs> bit confused uh, for a moment. The They're mathematics, like, basically, the efficiencies. Uh, I think I think each yield module brings it up by or oh, it brings different ones up by a different amount. But I think it's a factor of uh, two. I think it brings it up to. 119, 120%? No, that's not oh, right, right, is it? So if we're getting 100 out, we're now getting 120. Yeah. To simplify the mathematics for you, but uh, myself yeah, and everyone, roughly, yeah, and everyone roughly. who uh, is confused by this. Yeah, roughly, if 100 goes in, 120 comes out. But the only problem is, is that you've also got to take into account um, the uranium, what goes in and how much of it's being converted to start with so that's what the yield module changes it, it changes the base yield so for example if if it were 10 percent if if 100 uranium goes in and you only get 10 uranium out the yield module is now going 100 go in and you'll get 11 point or 11 12 out for example well yeah so that that's how it's working so yeah, i am going to say you put 100 in you're not going to get 120 out you're not going to get yeah. any more out than you put in well, it's funny it's that's funny you how say that version works it's it's funny you say that there was a bug i don't know mr jacobin do you remember the bug uh where you could what what was the bug again you could actually get more than what you put in out i don't know whether you remember that bug uh, from some from time ago what uh, was it rotor, uh, rotors or wheels? Or? No, no, from the refinery, you could put, for example, if you put four yield modules on, on the refinery... Oh, you and get more get, ingots than... Yeah, uh, more so if you put... Weight of ingots than yeah, you get... Yeah, exactly. In. So yeah. if you put 100 kilos of iron in, you would get 200 kilos of iron out. I remember that. Nice. Can we yeah, have that, that bug back, please? That was that was a bug they had to fix. I, I do I remember that bug. It, it's less of a bug, uh, more of a continuity error. Uh, but they capped yield at 100. percent Yeah. Because it wasn't. Uh, right, second yield. Well, module yield now would be 100. percent It's impossible to get 100. percent Yeah, I still I think you might not be able to get 100 percent anymore anyway. Uh, what's missing? Metal grids and steel plates, uh, obviously. I was running in the wrong direction for so long now. <laughs> Luckily, I spotted it before grids. I was too far away. Uh, steel plates, right, we're out of steel plates. Where's that assembler? What's the assembler doing? It is doing nothing at the moment. So, let's have it making some steel plates. Right, I'm going to I'm going to set it up to make nothing but steel plates now for a while, uh, but feel free to to switch it off and switch to whatever you need, Jacobine, on okay. the assembler. Right. Right, that's the second yield module in. Now the only thing I need is a cargo container. So how does that improve it? So now that should bring it up to about uh, phew, I don't know, 140 percent. So, 10, 10 uranium ingots, uh, well, that's not even the right conversion, to be honest. I think it's 0 0.025 of uranium becomes the actual fuel. 
So this is just in increasing that percentage by making it 0.03 or whatever. Is iron the most important thing for us to be uh, smelting at the moment? Uh, yeah, you know what? Switch it over to iron. We've got plenty of uranium. Un unless Jacobean requires more uh -huh. than 16 ingots, we're okay. Right, you can manage, but we need We've got almost 2,000 iron ingots in there now. But we'll need more. So iron, gold, nickel... Don't need doing. Oh, taking nickel out. Do we need to, do do we need stone in here? I don't think we do, do we? You know what? Uh, put the stone in the cargo container. One of the roll cargo it. containers. Or just roll it down a hill. Or just roll it down a hill. Why have that's we got? Always fun. Why have we got four, three thousand tons? Oh, sorry, oh. three tons of scrap metal. I don't. Oh, you can turn that into um. Iron. Yeah. Yep. I'm switching that to turn into iron right now. And it's time for the Gloucester rock rolling contest. The lesson oh, on competition rock. from Rick rolling. Yes. It's going in the same direction, roughly, but I'm going in, so I'm following it. I'm assuming, Jacobin, you would be familiar with Rick rolling, right? Uh, yes. Good. I'm familiar with it. Good. I've been trolled by several TV shows. See, I can't be trolled by it because I quite like the song. Ah, okay. I suppose, again, that's, gro like that's growing up on the song, I suppose. Um, um, I, I was I'm going to say something. Know. I'm going to say something really embarrassing now, and it's going to be on the internet forever. Good, good. That's why we're all here. Yep, the first two albums I ever got were Shaking Stevens, Lipstick Powder and Paint. Okay. No, no, good. no, no, no. I, I know, Astley. I know that I know the Shaking Stevens. I don't know the name of the thing, but Rick Astley I know very well. Yeah, Shaking the Rick Stevens Astley I also one, know. It's just called Rick Astley, the British Elvis they called him. <laughs> But you know what? I mean, if you've ever watched, uh, obviously, you, if you're in Rickroll, you've watched the video. His voice then did not match the persona, the the face. It just didn't match. But now it does. But back then, it just did not match. It's like Joss Stone. Lenny Henry has a joke about Joss Stone, and that somewhere in um, in Louis, Louisiana, there's a black woman wonder, uh, wondering why she's got a hankering for corny pasties. Ah. The point being that Joss Stone has a, has the voice of basically a you know a southern black a, a southern black gospel. Oh right, right, a, okay, okay. Rather than a you know a Cornish blonde. Okay, yeah, I'm following now. Um, you know what? I'm going to start welding the. Ooh, I like that spotlight location. You know what? I've got an idea. That's something I want to do. But first, I'm, first, I've got to use these steel plates for the good of mankind. Um, I'm right, going to use these so steel plates to start welding up your your boom arm here. Okay. It just looks wholly unsafe. <laughs> yeah, and, I think that's losers. And and as an engineer. I'm the dad. Yeah, I was going to say, and as an engineer, I really Energy. would like to keep this safe. We are very much two different types of engineers here. Uh, ye well, because mm. I, I, I was completely fine with it being unbothered. See, I'm. It depends for me. I, I'm not all. I mean, I think we've had this conversation with Vectrix before about health and safety. Um, how I'm not. I'm health and safety conscious, but not, not to the extent of. Is the way some some of it goes now, as as I'm sure. Ve yeah, we had this we had this conversation, Vectrix, when um when you almost had a tree knock you out. Ah, right, okay. Which may be why you can't remember the conversation. No, it's because the tree knocked me out. Yeah. But we, we were what talking this about needs is, it, it, what this needs is this it is a mechanic that's in eco where you shot timber when you're on a tree. Yeah, yeah, that that could. Although do. it does seem to it does seem to wait till the trees hit the floor, which is a bit like. Yeah. I've rocked right. radioactive gold mine. Now we are coming back with more. 
I've just had a really neat idea that I'm going to try. Um, but I don't know how well it's going to go. It's the only problem. You know when you have an idea and you're just not sure whether you should do it or not? Yes. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah I'm, I'm at that point right now. I'm just trying to work out whether I should do this or should I just not bother. Um, get another 200 steel plates out of this. You're coming back with more iron, you see? Yep. Good. So we could do with that. Are we going to be basically building these mining drills all over the planet? Uh, <laughs> no, I think this is the silo one. Uh, um, I don't... I, I, I think what I want to do is I want to place down a um, a mobile mining dr um, rig that can just implant down into the ground and then drill like that. Funny, I had a similar idea. Build a ship, you can fly it around, anchor it to the ground when you need to, when you find something, and then just deploy the drills. It's going to have to be a... Or, no, I was, I was thinking, but we don't have tracks. If we could put it on tracks, that would have been good. Yeah, well, I was more thinking having it fly because it's much easier to do that. But it'd look cooler on tracks, that's all. It would look cooler on tracks. However, Can you imagine Space just... Engineers plus wheels is already, already a bit uh, yes. shifty. Yes, it's a bit it's of a problem. Throwing tracks in there, my god. Space Engineers plus wheels plus tracks plus Vectrix is a um, recipe for disaster. Best serve card. <laughs> that's revenge, mate. But yeah, I get the point. Ooh, this is looking, this is looking good. Yeah, right. so uh, we there's currently to... one spotlight. I'm going to throw another one on the... Uh, well, I'm going to throw three more so that I get a good enough um, coverage. Labelled, I assume? Uh, yes, labelled drill. Um, and I've changed the colour from white because it's much better. Yeah, it looks, no, the white it's is not like perfect. It's sort of like a subtle gold colour. Yes. Although gold isn't very, isn't very, isn't very subtle. Right. It looks more like a, a, a bronzy. Yeah, the, the cone it. looks more bronze. Look, it looks like a, 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 a penny, a new penny. Yeah, that, that was the colour I was going for. Um, it does work. Whatever you do, do not let Snaggles at that. When he returns, do not let him at that, at that light. He will, oh, turn, no. he turn, will turn, turn it red, white. Lights. Yeah, he will. He will start turning it red, white, blue, gold, pink, purple. He turned our rover lights initially purple. Yes, I thought they were pink and blue. Yeah. And pink and blue, and then he went for red and blue. Yeah, turned it into a police car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snuggle! Right, so how's my? Plenty of hydrogen. Plenty in that. Let's do this. Let's remember how to activate a jetpack. Again. You press X. Yeah, I'm trying the double space again. That's because you're stuck on the, in Minecraft mode. I am. This should. I, I certainly hope this works. Oh, I felt, I thought that was about to crash. What, the server? Yeah. It yeah, had, a, it had one personal. big stutter. Yep. I thought I w I'd run out of stamina and realised stamina isn't a thing in this game. <laughs> yeah, no, that just had one big stutter. That was... Ooh. Let's, let's try not to have that happen again. Right, yeah. so uh, the drill should be ready for operation. Uh, stand by, stand by. Let's, uh, okay, I've got, there, uh, there is something I want to do first before you operate the drill. Okay. Um, in fact, if you want to help me out with this, I would be pretty good. I am, if we want to just weld this entire pillar up, and then the bits at the end. Oh, pretty good. How are you building a bridge? 
Uh, yeah, some sort of bridge at the top. It's okay. not, I, I mean, it's not exactly how I want it, but it's it's going to do for now, temporarily. Right. Um, um, question is... Yep. Steel. Uh, you should be able to weld. I've put enough steel in all of them. At the top, at, up the pillar, and the last, and the four blocks near it should all be weldable. Um, I'm hoping. No, yeah. I am out of steel, in fact. Great. How much did I put? How how much did I put in? Some of them should be weldable, surely. Um, doesn't seem like it. None of them are. Ah. Uh, what are we missing? Steel. We just uh, we just I, I can't see any of them being welded at the moment. Oh, these ones at the bottom are welded. Right. Yes. So one. Um, desynchronization. Lovely. Oh look, this one's ready to weld. This one's ready to weld. Oh, so you can't see this then? No, I think I need to be like. Ah, I was wondering why you couldn't see that these were ready to weld. I thought, surely I must have got them welded. Vectrix, can you see these? Well, when you return, I suppose. I'll tell you in a second. I just had a, ma uh, uh, a major hiccup. I fell through the earth. And then I was back on again, and I did some, uh, and then I just. It just went weird. Yeah, I think I've. Then I it saw couldn't. The then, it couldn't then it couldn't select any of the uh, tools. Bit weird. Yeah, I I had a stutter and I panicked for a moment. Uh, but we seem to be okay now, at least on this side. But. Well, I'm on my way back with another three kilograms of iron. Now okay. here's the question: uh, Should I relog uh, for the chance that it will work? But it it will take. 20 minutes because of course it will 20 minutes well the 10 minutes was how long it uh, took to log in i was being um yes i was I'll, exaggerating i was gonna say i i'm pretty sure i managed to have this down to 10. uh yeah you could if you want right so, that would mean well, that we'd start the drill up in the next episode which is that would be I pretty was gonna good suggest, uh, i was gonna suggest we leave this episode on a on a cliffhanger <laughs> yeah. Will the drill work? Will the drill work? No. Will it kill everybody and destroy the server? Um, Will desynchronization issues cause the drill to fly apart, flying into the refinery, destroying the refinery, which subsequently will explode, destroy the medical bay, giving us no chance to respawn, ending the game prematurely? I cannot deny that that's the case. You cannot confirm or deny the um, uh, whether that is the case or not. Fair enough. I feel because like I am using a piston and a rotor together. <sighs> How's that historically high issues for you? Um, no, but it's looked very, very uh, shifty. I have, I do have one question before you log off and try and re-log before yep. we end this video. Um, the advanced rotor. What's the difference between that and the standard? Um, the advanced rotor has the ability, uh, has a conveyor point on the head and the base, All right, don't whereas need the that. regular rotor doesn't. Okay, don't need that for what I'm trying to do. Okay, is that, I, I don't recall an advanced rotor being in the game last time I played, uh, before this. Yeah, which meant that you couldn't transfer items between yeah, two we couldn't, different yeah. rotating objects. No, we had to well, manually uh, move could. them. Or was it a, we a had merge and collector, but no, uh, we had a merge block at that point, I think. But that was really sketchy when you tried using that. Yes. I, I do remember a merge block. Do they still exist? I'm assuming they do. Yes. Uh, the, the only thing, uh, the only thing I remember them taking out is ladders. Ah. Okay. Um, anyway, right. I'll be back in minutes. All right. So, what blocks are we testing for visibility? Uh, these blocks right in front of me. Can you see them welded? No. No. Oh, no. What if you attempt it's, to weld them? It says 0%. Oh, no. These are all definitely welded. Hmm. Can you see that thing right in front of you? Uh, they're all welded. Uh, sorry, they're, they're all saying is 0% welded. 
and they're also saying just for one steel plate in them. Okay, that's not right because they're all well. Literally welded. all of them. Uh, Hawk, Literally most, all of them. Well, down the bridge they're not. It's just these last four, the block of four. Yeah, those four definitely say, yeah, go away. Nothing happening here, dude. I'm lucky we're even here. Don't push me off. I'm, I'm going to be very careful not to push you off. Oh, here. what's this motor path? Oh, I can't. Did I actually have enough to fill that? No, I didn't. I, I was surprised for a yeah, second. Yeah, it's saying zero. It's saying zero percent as well. Wait, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want a rotor part. I just wanted two rotors. Why is it? What's it? Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's not done quite just yet. Vectrix, I don't know whether you want to relog as well, because that is the end of this video. Will, will all of this be resynchronized? Will they be able to see it? Will the drill work? Find out next time on Space Engineers. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Space Engineers. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video and subscribe to catch more episodes. If you have not yet done so, please follow me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash ecgadget and please consider also supporting me on Patreon www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Lastly, please do follow or subscribe to all the other players in this series. Channel links to the channels for Vectrix, Snaggles, Carter and Jacobine will be in the description box below as will the links to my Patreon and Twitch. Once again, thank you, and we shall see you soon in Space Engineers.